the freshly released Tamiya Porsche 956 has arrived. Excellent! Welcome back to Poor Boys RC, everybody. We're going to unbox this kit here today. There's not much in this box, believe it or not. And we're even going to do a little build video. Probably won't get around to painting the body because I do have another body painting tutorial queued up in the paint line. So let's get this thing unboxed, get it built, and see what the Tamiya Porsche 956 is all about. Tamiya box art once again for the win, guys, making everything they do look so good. My only complaint is that, that we couldn't get the licensed Rothman cigarettes brand emblem on here. I totally get it. I think cigarette branding is legal in a lot of countries now if not all of them totally get it regardless of all that guys check it out it looks like it's going fast standing still this is a 110 scale ready to assemble kit you're gonna have to supply a ton of your own stuff when you get one of these things including a transmitter an esc a receiver servo batteries for your transmitter battery pack battery charger this is just a bare bones chassis all right let's crack it open see what's in here Again, pretty basic, hey guys, look at that. Not much going on. What we do see though is this gorgeous body. Let's start off with this gorgeous looking shell, guys. Look at that. Uh, for some reason, it just seems smaller when I see all the photos, but in person, this looks like a really, almost like an eight scale body shell. Interesting. Great Tamiya quality, as with all their Lexan shells. Guys, you're gonna have to cut this thing out. You're gonna have to supply your own paint and paint it up yourself. In behind door number two, we have got a plethora of parts bags. Would you say I have a plethora of piñatas? Oh, yes. <laughs> you have a plethora. Believe it or not, that's the majority of this chassis, guys. Crazy. All right, let's make some sense of it. Let's start with you. More Lexan. Headlight taillight buckets, maybe something like that. Or maybe these are the headlight buckets and the taillight buckets. And these are signal light buckets? Hmm, we'll find out during the build process. Gonna open everything up this time, guys, because we are building this bad boy. What have we got here? Tamiya Parts Tree H. Looks like some side mirrors, some random plastic bits and bobs. Uh, what do we got here, guys? More parts I cannot identify for you. Looks like some kind of a, a brace here. A couple more braces, possibly. These look like they could be incorporated into the rear wheels or hubs, maybe. Stiffener plate here. I'm going to say that's probably what that all is there. An interesting chassis design. So we've got this, just a giant black plastic Tamiya ABS bathtub style chassis here. Unfortunately, it is round, so you are going to have to use round battery packs to make this thing work unless you can squeeze a rectangular lipo in there somehow or a rounded Tamiya shaped lipo which seem to be hard uh, to come by these days but that's your main chassis there and then here looks like we've got some additional uh, what would I say these are gosh guys I really wish I knew what I was talking about I really don't again looks like these are probably some kind of a support for the rear axle look more Lexan maybe I can redeem myself with what I know I'm gonna say this is a spoiler definitely definitely a spoiler Next bag, body posts. Got it. Finally, something I know. The rest of this stuff, no idea. Bunch of support brackets again. Everything's going to be a support bracket in today's unboxing. Thank God we're building this thing in today's video. Otherwise, this would be the worst unboxing ever. <laughs> Plastic bits and bobs here again, guys. Looks like we've got some suspension. I bet this is the front suspension components, your upper lower uh, A arms, if you will. And then some looks like preload collars for your shocks, a lower shock perch here, little front bumper there, maybe some mounts for your steering servo, et cetera, et cetera. Back to the box. We've got a couple boxes within the box and some decals. Let's look at these decals here first. We've got the typical Tamiya filler sheet that says, do not run this into children. Got it. We have got the nicest manual in the business. I said it before, I say it again. They do the best job with these manuals. They've got the full legend down here telling you which bearing to use. The size is one to one scale. You just lay it right on top. It tells you if it's brass, plastic, or an actual ball bearing, which is rare in Tamiya's case. But gosh, guys, they do such a wonderful job. Some decals. Before we dive into decals, a couple shout outs. I wanted to give a shout out to Eliminator Hobbies for sending me a wicked Tamiya hat. Unfortunately, I've got the biggest head on planet Earth and it doesn't fit my giant noodle. So it'll be a wonderful display piece. And another shout out to Wade who won the Jetwood Truggy. Unfortunately, I couldn't send the batteries to Wade. He was totally cool with it. So I threw him a few extra stickers. He asked for a shout out, Wade, you're the man. Back to the decals. Here we have our uh, window masking cutout sheet. Unfortunately, it looks like, yes, you do have to cut these out. Gosh, I wish those were pre-cut. Decals, decals, more decals. How you doing? Tammy, a caution stickers. We've got the beautiful licensed Porsche decals everywhere. This thing is going to look awesome when it's done. And no, none of those decals are pre-cut. On to this wonderful little box of tricks. Let's see what we got hiding in here. 
antenna straw, parts bags. Parts bag A, we've got the T-wrench, we've got a bunch of hardware, we've got our front uprights, a little steering servo linkage arm, hardware, hardware, hardware. Bag B, we have got some really thick rear axles by the looks of things here. Nice big beefy rear axle, more hardware, some ball diff grease, some balls here for your ball diff. <laughs> I said balls, a couple ball bearings, and even a thrust bearing, I believe that is. Bag C, we have got a bunch of two-sided tape, a bunch of, I don't know, bunch of other tape what else is in here a bunch of stuff i can't see of all this white stuff what's really going on it's a better look so we've got some damper oil there we've got some tamia brass bushings boo body clips as well i'm not too sure what this stuff is really shiny on one side kind of dull on the other no idea manual will tell us zip ties some internals for your shocks shock uh, just one oil filled shock on this guy more hardware, our rear shock spring, and then our FRP upper plates. Very cool. It does come with a motor, the Sport Tuned. I've never driven one of these vehicles, so I am gonna start with this motor. These are actually surprisingly zippy little motors. They're pretty good. So we'll give that a whirl and see how it goes. Last but not least, more body clips, more hardware, more sticky stuff. That's it. Ooh, ooh, exotic tire sniff time. These tires are, oh, these are grippy guys. We got the rears here. We got the fronts here. Oh my God, <laughs> oh, oh, take it easy on these ones. Man, that is, that's high traction compound. Wow, Woo. brings a tear to a guy's eye. What else is in here? Oh man, don't do that. Wheels, one shock, <laughs> spur gear, which is also a diff with some outdrive kind of deweys. Looks like some plastic washers for the body, Tamiya servo saver, and bits and bobs for your rear suspension. Let's start building. There it is, guys. The manual is all set up. We've got parts bags A and B opened up here. And this is my method. I know not everyone likes to do things this way, but this is how this makes sense to me, believe it or not. And, you know, it's kind of funny. We've got the little spring here for the back. And then these little guys here, those tiny little springs, that's your front suspension there. You've got your steering links, ball diff, which is also a spur. We've got some pretty beefy hardware here. Maybe, there were, you know, some deck screws or something. <laughs> yeah, balls for the ball diff. Little pinion gear here too, guys. Just a little guy. Suspension, motor, bearings, servo saver, A, B, C, D, E. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Wheels and tires. And again, guys, in this video, I'm just going to get the chassis done. Plus, I have a dedicated how to paint kind of thing video coming up down the line in the next uh, few weeks, maybe a month max. So not going to do it twice. So let's get that chassis built up. What do you think, guys? She is all finished up. I'd say that build was only about two, three hours. No real pain points to talk about if you're, if you're gonna build one of these for yourself. The only tip I'd give you is, see my front wheels? Is that just me? <laughs> it's almost as though the tire isn't wide enough to wrap around the entire wheel. And the instruction manual doesn't really say anything about that. So I, I don't know. I mean, I just thought it would look better to at least have the tire all the way out to the outer edge of the wheel so it doesn't look goofy from the outside. Hopefully some of this will be covered up by the body. I mean, obviously it will be, but I just find that bizarre that the rim is wider than the tire. I don't know. It's like that in the front, the back, just a little bit. And so you two-sided tape your tires on it. The wheels are wider than the tires, even in the rear. You can see just a little bit there. You can see it sticking out. You do have some wiggle room uh, with that tape. It will work with you for a little bit. But I think, you know, once that, once that adhesive really sets into this rubber tire, this very soft, very porous rubber tire, it's going to bite in and it's not moving. Just be cautious when you take this step. What else can I tell you guys? There's nothing to this. It's a very simple challenge chassis, probably the most simple chassis I've ever built. If you're looking to get into RC, especially RC on-road racing, you want something that's going to look amazing and you're a little weary on how to build, talk about an easy starting point. Reminder, you will need all your own electronics, servos, receiver, speed controller. It did come with a sport tune motor, which is all right. And it did come with a pinion gear uh, and a body. So you just have to paint that up, cut it out, trim it. 
The build was quick and easy. Awesome looking kit, guys. You cannot go wrong with Tamiya quality. Tamiya Porsche 956. What a beauty. If you're looking to grab one of these guys, I do have affiliate links down in the description box below to all your favorite hobby stores. Click those links. That would help the channel out a ton. And there's even some coupon codes down there that'll save you a few bucks. Guys, that's me signing off for today. Thanks for watching the show. And as always, be excellent to each other.